But you did see the you did see the Reds in the late sixties. Davey Bristol, yeah, who you liked. I love him. You did see the, made the Hall of Fame last year at the Reds. Oh, he made the Red Hall yeah. of Fame. Yeah, I didn't know that. Uh, but you did see the development of the. You saw Bench. You knew Perez was there. Well, here you I, I, I'll Lee give May. you a rundown. You real saw quick. the development yeah. of the Reds. I'll tell you real quick. Uh, I came up sixty three. Uh, Perez came up 65. Helms was rookie of the year in 66. Lee May came up 67. Bench was rookie of the year in 68. And all during the 67, 8, 69, our manager was Dave Bristol. He, he created the Big Red Machine, but Sparky developed it. Because Sparky came in 70. Would and you have won the championships without, without Sparky? Uh... I love Dave Bristol. So yeah, Dave would yeah, have won two. Dave, Dave would have won two. Yeah, Dave didn't. Dave didn't have the tools that Sparky did. Right. And Sparky was. Um, Sparky was the most street smart guy I've ever met in my life. You know, Sparky used to tell me, Chris, if you think about it, it's correct. There's three ways you can treat a person: pat him on the ass, kick him in the ass, or leave him alone. You and he kick, knew how. And he knew how to do each. Don't person. kick the guy needs patted. Don't pat the guy needs kicked. If you're going to ask him to go to war for you every night, you got to know what makes him tick. And Sparky was the best at that. Dave was not as good at that. Dave, Dave was as good as that, but he just didn't have the personnel. We didn't have the, you know, Davey didn't develop. Davey developed in 1970, you know, and, and Bench was better in 70 as MVP. He was rookie year in 68. Dave Bristol had all of us guys in the minor leagues. Uh, we I played for Macon in 62 when I had all those triples. We had seven guys on that team make the Reds. Oh, did you really? Yeah, we had Shamsky. Uh, yeah, I tried Shamsky with the 69 Mets, of we, course. We had, right we you had were good Me- friends of Shamsky. We had Mel Queen. Mel, good pitcher. Yes. We had Gus Gill, who played with Cleveland. We okay. had Tommy Helms. We had me. We had um, um, Teddy Davison, mm-hmm. uh, Ken Hunt. All right. And we had Larry Larry Himes, who was general manager of the, of the uh, Cubs. So you had a lot of that. Uh, so a that lot of Red good team, That's why we won in Macon. Uh, so that Reds team was getting good. And then Morgan... Well, he didn't come to yeah, work. Yeah, seventy two. I know 72. that, but but in a lot of ways, it was more was Morgan. Was say Morgan was a missing piece to winning two championships. Yeah, yeah. Well, I told someone because he was that, as smart as you. See, that's I, the thing about Morgan. Morgan most is most intelligent smart as you. player I played with. Oh, yeah. most intelligent player. Yeah. Here's the, here's the thing about uh, the Reds, the big red machine. Why we were so good, and you'll understand this. Okay, there's two positions that you play in baseball today that aren't dominant offensive positions. One is catcher and one is second base. We had perennial MVP candidates at catcher and bench and second base Joe Morgan. Because most of your offense today comes from first base, third base, left field, right field, or center field. Now, there's not many uh, great offensive players that are catchers. Can you name me one? And you had one of the great, you had probably the best catcher of all time. Yeah. And then you had no Morgan, question. who was a Hall of Famer at second base, who won back to back MVPs. And, and when you got those guys, that. yeah, when it, and you got the other players, and you got Foster, and you got me, and you got uh, Perez, you know, a hitting machine. I met Tony Perez, you won't believe this, Chris, when I went to Geneva, New York to play for the Reds. 59 years ago, I've been knowing Tony Perez. I went to lunch with him about three weeks ago in Cincinnati. I sat there for two and a half hours and have no idea what the hell he said. <laughs> He still can't speak English. <laughs> no, 